Ciao from Italy. I am currently in Assisi. I've been in Rome in Assisi for the last six days. Um, in this beautiful country, which is quite a bit warmer than the last when I was in Ireland. Though today I am very much appreciating this wool hat I got in um, on the west side of Ireland, 100% wool. And um, as we climbed up Mount Sebastio, where St. Francis and a lot of the Franciscan brothers that followed after him would go and find a hermitage. So that meant finding a hole in a, finding a cave, like an already met, um, natural cave or forming their own cave out of rocks, like a cleft of the rock and then rocks outside. So I got to spend some time sitting in um, one little hovel there in the mountainside and considering what does it take for someone to be that serious to find the presence of God that they would climb a mountain and be super duper cold and like probably have minimal clothing and shoes or be barefoot and then just like be alone with or without food for a period of time. I've been inspired by that fervor of the saints. And even when their penance and their self-flagellation or kind of being severe with their bodies as far as how much food they eat is hard to understand. It's beautiful con to consider what they were willing to do and what they're willing to give up to seek the presence of God. This is just such a beautiful and peaceful land. Behind me is the chapel of St. Clair, dedicated to um, this young woman who left a life of nobility for a life of poverty in a time when the monastic communities were also really affluent and the Catholic Church was drowning, swimming in money. Um, both Francis and Claire chose to forsake the attraction of wealth and live humbly and simply in the loving way of Christ to serve the least, to serve the lepers and the poor and to live among them. So I'm looking out over the valley here. I'm in the small town of Assisi which has about 800 residents but then this is like more the city part of Assisi and um, I'm just sitting here on the edge of um, a road as I wait for the travel agency to open which they're still not open, so that I can sort out my travel to the airport tomorrow as I fly out of Pisa on my way to Geneva, Switzerland. So, lovely to see you on this beautiful sunshiny day, and I'll see you on the voyage.